I spent the last 72 hours testing GPT-5 and let me tell you, it's a different beast. It's like having a PhD level expert in your pocket. Today, I will show you how to use it to 10x your productivity. So what's new in GPT-5? Well, GPT-5 has a built-in model selector that decides when to switch on its deep thinking mode so you don't have to choose between different models anymore. It's significantly better at structured problem solving. It also has a wider context window, so it allows you to process massive documents in one run. It also has fewer hallucinations, so the answers are more accurate. With that, let's go ahead and watch GPT-5 in action. All right, so what I'm going to do first is to ask ChatGPT-5 a difficult question. So I'm going to ask it to publish or come up with a research report on estimating the battery state of charge of electric vehicle lithium ion batteries. And here I'm using a technique that I'm familiar with, which is known as extended Kalman filter. Don't worry about it too much. But the idea is I'm going to ask ChatGPT5 to conduct literature review, develop a simulation model, analyze the results, generate figures, and also write a research report for us that includes all these different sections. So I'm gonna go back, I'm just gonna paste that prompt here, and I'm going to click run. So what you see right now is ChatGPT5, it understood that the problem requires deeper thinking and reasoning. So now you should be able to see behind the scenes, it is planning the literature review, it's preparing that literature review, so it's creating kind of its own tasks, developing a simulation model, so it's gonna write code, develop that simulation model, prepare the paper, write down the equation, and list it here as well. Let's wait and see what the output from this prompt would look like. And look at what is happening right now. So you will see the ChatGPT5 coming up with all the different equations. It is generating here all the different simulation results here that I ask it to do. It provides here assumptions, so it made assumptions. It's writing a discussion of how to tune the parameters for that filter. It's writing the conclusion. It's also generating figures and providing you with links to the figures. I think this is mind-blowing, and I would have never even imagined something close like that when I started in this field of artificial intelligence early on. And if you go up here, you will see the figures. So you can see there is an output here, figures that have been generated. And if you'd like to explore the code, you can also ask it, could you please analyze or generate that code for us? So let's actually ask it to generate the code. Show me the code. And let's see how ChatGPT5 is going to perform that analysis for us. And here we go. Look at that code that has been generated. So it's basically made all the assumptions. It created all the functions here and still typing that code. This is the simulation model for that battery actually teach these as well content and I can't believe that this is actually happening right now, which is mind blowing. It's important to note that you should not use ChatGPT to publish the entire paper for you because this is considered unethical. But of course you can use it to help you write code, to troubleshoot code, and of course come up maybe with new innovative ideas. Also note that ChatGPT5 did not come up with groundbreaking research or novel ideas yet. It has been just trained on millions of research papers and of course a ton of uh, GitHub code as well. So, but we're expecting to see the sparks of AGI coming up very, very soon. And now it will start to maybe come up with cure for cancer and maybe help us as well cure almost every disease. All right, next, I would like to show you the capabilities of ChatGPT5 into building an entire applications for us. Let me show you. So here I'm going to ask ChatGPT5 to create a beautiful, highly interactive web app. And assuming that I would like to learn French, for example, so I'm going to ask it to create the app for us. So I'm just going to copy this code and paste it here and click run. In the meantime, if you're wondering how powerful this tool is, there is the LLM or large language models leaderboard. And you should see here all the eval of ChatGPT5, for example. So here you can see when it comes to the math, 
It already scored 100%, which is mind blowing. When it comes to agentic coding, it's actually pretty powerful and as powerful as Grok 4. And what scares me and keeps me awake at night is this graph, which is what we call it humanity's last exam that includes the hardest problems that humans have entirely worked on. And you will find that ChatGPT 5 have been able to achieve almost 35% on that exam, jumping from 20% back with GPT-03 model. Let's go back and take a look at the ChatGPT 5 building our application for us. So it's gonna take some time for it to run and I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back once ChatGPT 5 has built our application. So here we go. Now you see ChatGPT 5 basically writing code for us. And you can see that it understood that we wanted to convert from one language to the other. So here I got the English version, here I got the French version. And if you keep kind of waiting, you will see that it is building the entire app for us. Please know that this would have taken humans, maybe an expert programmer, maybe like a few days for them to build. And now you'll see ChatGPT 5 kind of doing all this for you, which is again, mind blowing. So it's gonna take again a few seconds for it to run. All right, so here we go. Now the code has been generated. If you'd like to preview the app, you can just click on preview here. And now the app is being built right now and look at this amazing, incredible app. So if you go ahead and click on flashcard, for example, you can see all the different here um, words in French. You can go ahead and ask it to oh, pronounce man. it. So now it's actually pronounce it if you can't hear, hear that. And you can click on next need practice and you can just keep going and you'll see it's a functioning app if you click on quiz you can kind of here maybe you can see there is different questions here so it's actually function as well and here i also ask it to include a game like a mouse and cheese and if you click on start now you have a game as well that has Bonjour. been built for you so every time you hit Pourquoi? you get I a hope. new word how incredible is this Let's move on to our next task. By the way, if we haven't met yet, I'm Dr. Ryan Ahmed and welcome to my channel. I'm a professor and best-selling online instructor. I've taught over half a million students worldwide. And if you like this video, I've created the world's best agentic AI bootcamp covering all about AI agents. I include every single framework like N8N, Autogen, Crew AI, and LangGraph. Check it out on Udemy today and I've included a discount link. It's only available for a few days, so please go ahead and check it out. And with that, let's go back to the video. ChatGPT 5 also has built-in search capabilities. Let me show you. For example, I can ask it, okay, what is the weather in Toronto today? And now ChatGPT 5 is going to search the web and it's gonna come up with a summary as well here of all the different weather conditions. Of course, you can go ahead and ask it about real-time information. So provide me with real-time information about the price of Bitcoin. And now it's going to show you here the price of Bitcoin right inside the application, which is really powerful. You can ask it to do or conduct research for you. So for example, you can go ahead and ask it, do a web search to summarize what people are saying about OpenAI's new GPT-5 model, which is itself. So now it's going to skeleton one. There's a lot of chat about, about chat GPT-5. And it's going to give you as well here kind of a summary of all the different sources that it was able to read as well. All right, next, let's go ahead and test out the image and video generation ability. So I'm going to ask it to generate an epic panoramic illustration of the, let's say, new seven wonders of the world. And here we're just explaining what the image should look like. And now you should see the creative ability of this model and it's gonna take again a few seconds for it to run. And look at this incredible image that is being created right now on the spot with the power of artificial intelligence. Please note that this image has never existed before and this is the creative imagination of AI. You can see here the pyramids in the background, you can see as well all the different seven wonders of the, of the world and they are all merged together in one cohesive image that looks incredible. All right, next, let me show you the video generation ability as well. So if you go on the left-hand side, you should see Sora. And Sora is another AI model that is available as well within ChatGPT here. 
that will allow you to create videos too. So what you could do is that you need to describe an image simply first, and then you take that image and you convert it or generate a video out of it. So if you go ahead on the left-hand side, if you click on videos, now you can describe the image first. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the following. I'm going to say, I wanted to create a playful golden retriever puppy as well. And that's kind of carrying a, um, a, a banner that says, share if you think Dr. Ryan Ahmed's Udemy courses are awesome. And if you just click run, you should see that this here has been queued. And if you click on it, now we should see two different images that will be created here for you. And it's gonna take a few seconds for them to be generated. If you're happy with one of these two images, you can use it to generate a video out of it. And look at these images. So it actually understood what I wanted the image to look like. So share if you think Dr. Ryan Ahmed's Udemy courses are awesome. Okay, this is great. So of course this is still an image, right? So I would like to generate a video out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one. And now you can say, well, I wanna create a video out of it. You can also describe what that video should look like. So here, for example, I'm gonna ask it, okay, I would like you to make the dog run and smile with happiness and laughter. So let's wait and see how the image will be generated into a video. And look at these videos that have been generated. Of course, it's not, they're not perfect yet, but it's still pretty amazing given that we just gave it plain English and we have been able to get a video that looks like that. Of course, use that video in your project, for example. Next, I would like to share with you two additional features around artificial intelligence agents that I think will blow your mind away. The first one is what we call deep research. So if you go ahead and click on deep research, simply what is happening behind the scenes, that's an AI agent that can reason, act, conduct research on your behalf and it can come back with a detailed report it's going to take around five to ten minutes and it would have taken normal humans around a few days for them to be able to achieve what this chat gpt 5 is able to do in few minutes let me show you so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to copy this prompt and i'm going to ask chat gpt 5 to come up with a plan for us when it comes to investing in new lithium ion batteries. So I'm going to say you are a PhD researcher specializing in next gen EV batteries. I want you to simply come up, kind of perform deep research for us. Find me all the different technologies, find me all the top here companies and come up with a report for us. So it's going to come back. It's going to ask you a few questions. Okay, what is the desired level of technical detail, for example? And I'm going to say, well, I'm flexible on all. And of course, you can simply here answer all these different questions. And it's going to take here a few minutes for it to run. So we're going to start that research for us. going to look up different multiple resources available online. And it's going to come back with a detailed report at the end. And after eight minutes, ChatGPT5 was able to come up with this feedback here. So it actually read 129 search items. And you can see an incredible report summarizing all the different sources that GPT-5 was able to read. And if you keep scrolling down, you should see as well here all the different results. And if you keep scrolling down, this is an incredibly well-written report that has been generated in less than 10 minutes. All right, so the next feature that I would like to share with you available in chat GPT-5 is the ability to perform advanced data analysis. So here I've got sample data set, it's called cancer data set. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT5 to simply create 10 different data visualizations and here do the analysis for us, write code. So what you see that ChatGPT5 is actually writing or executing Python code behind the scenes. And if you make it slightly bigger, now you should see the code that here that is being generated. And Let's take a look and see if it is able to come up with a better data visualizations compared to the previous legacy models. And look at these amazing data visuals that have been create, generated here. This is by far way better compared to the previous GPT-4.0 uh, uh, data visuals here. So now you should see a nice box plot that has been created, a nice correlation heat map. You should see here as well a nice scatter chart. 
and it's asking you okay to, which visualization you would like to get but this is again by far way better compared to before so next i would like to test chat gpt5 capability into reading and recognizing images as well so here i got an image from a research paper that includes how to use artificial intelligence to recognize and detect cancer cells so it's actually advanced here and i would like to see if chat gpt was able to understand that and also i would like to test chat gpt5 as well so i included another image too but this image is from a different domain into trying to predict the battery state of health for electric vehicles and this is actually one of our research uh, as well that we conducted so i'm going to copy this image here and i wanted to ask chat gpt5 to tell me what is going on in these two images i'm not going to even ask it the question i'm just going to upload these two and let's see if chat gpt5 was able to perform image recognition understand what these images actually mean and here we go it's going to tell you well the first image is for pathology detection pipeline so it's telling you what is the different phases here. It's explaining to you what's actually happening there. And it's telling you the second image is around here, um, battery state of health estimation. So understood what is going on. All right, next, I would like to share additional feature that has been released as well by OpenAI, which is the ability to use what we call it agent mode. If you click on agent mode, now you can ask ChatGPT to book flights and book hotels on your behalf as an example. So I'm going to ask it to find a five-star hotel for me in Mexico City. And I'm giving it as well a budget here. So what you see is that ChatGPT is going to simply open its own browser, its own desktop, and it's going to move the mouse and it's going to open booking.com and it's going to perform tasks on your behalf, which is incredible. So here we go. So now it's doing that research for us, looking at hotels in Mexico City, five-star hotels. It is creating its own tasks, and if you'd like to see what tasks it's actually doing, there are three dots here. If you click on activity, now you should see all the different activity that the agent is doing behind the scenes. And it's going to take a few seconds for it as well for, to run. You can also take over browser, so you can take over the browser for the AI agent as well. So if I go back, and let's see if it's going to open booking.com and start to book flights and hotels on our behalf. And look at ChatGPT right now, opening booking.com, actually moving the mouse. I'm not moving here anything. And it's selecting as well the dates that I specified here. And it's making decisions and it's going to um, look for hotels. I was a bit scared to give it my credit card information, but maybe I will do that in the next video. But that's the incredible power of ChatGPT agent and which is right now available in the ChatGPT window. So ChatGPT ran for nine minutes and we have been able to get a summary of all the different hotels and the amenities and simply a summary here that we can leverage. That's it. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I've got a ton of practical AI tutorials and deep dives coming your way. And don't forget to join our AI community where you can grab the prompts, slides, and connect with others building the future of AI. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.